Recently, I looked up the word versatile in an online dictionary. There was nothing there. There was just a picture. A picture of look for drawing. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little, but the thing about look is that he's so difficult to pigeonhole. Sure, the first thing that comes to people's mind when they hear his name is that he's an actor, a performer, right? But in our field, in ELT, there's also been a teacher and an examiner and a trainer. He has been a writer. He has written course books. He has written handbooks. And of course, he's a presenter. He has given brilliant presentations on pretty much everything from drama to exam classes to classroom management to humor, everything. I suppose the one quality that stands out about Luke is that he's passionate. And it's this passion that helps him bring to life his performances and his presentations. As you sometimes, because he's passionate, he gets carried away. And he can be, sometimes he can be opinionated, he can even be dogmatic at times. I suppose this is one of the reasons why I like him so much, because I, I tend to be like that myself. Yeah. But the thing is that look is also reflective. Yeah? So you'll think back to things. And he's prepared to admit it um, if he's, he's been wrong. He'll say, yeah, maybe I got a bit too angry in the discussion. Or um, maybe you're right, perhaps Jonathan Pye is actually pro Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah? Unlike most of us, Luke is prepared to admit it when he's made a mistake. And he's prepared to learn from this. Okay? And he's prepared to turn it into a learning step. And isn't this the hallmark of a great educator? Aun aprendo, as he himself says. But TLT and education aside, Luke is generally very erudite. There are all these other interests of his, literary interests, his interest in novels and novelists, you know, uh, the works of Charles Dickens and Jane Austen, and in poetry, of course, there are all these great poetry recitals of his. And literature aside, he's also interested in other things, in, in social issues, and in technology, and in politics. And I suppose it's this erudition of his that makes him, to my mind at least, an ideal plenary speaker. You see, in our field, we have some very good colleagues who are really good at one thing. So they know so much about technology, perhaps, or they know a great deal about learning difficulties or they know about exam classes and sometimes we invite them and they come and give talks and they, you see them in a panel discussion and uh, somebody asks them a question about something else which perhaps is beyond their area of expertise and sometimes you realize there's very little else there not so with look but perhaps what's really special about look is not what he is but rather what he isn't. Sure, he's a man and he's got a dominant presence and he loves being on the stage, but unlike other people, he's not a show-off. Sure, he has strong views and he's prepared to take a stand on social issues, but he will not engage in virtue signaling. He might even contribute his two cents on some minor issue or other, but he's not going to do so on a daily basis. And, by the way, speaking of minor issues, another thing about Luke is he won't do fluff. If you're having a discussion with Luke, you can rest assured that it is on a higher plane. In fact, recently, I looked up another word in the same dictionary. I looked up the word gravitas. And there was a single sentence there. Look at the entry under versatile. I cannot think of anybody more deserving of this lifetime award than Luc Prodromo. Luc is our very own ELT national treasure.